guys. I am finishing up my day. I did a little bit of reading, um, starting this book. Um, you know, be a woman of substance. So what bothers me is I worked very, very hard to turn my life around. Very hard. Um, I came from a background where, you know, dating guys was okay. Uh, my grandmother, uh, my Uncle Bill saw her. Uh, in a tent with another man when he was growing up and just a lot with you know the prostitution she went into he told me etc etc so when you have to turn your life around and then you feel like because you've gone through post-traumatic stress you feel like there's been accusations your way people thinking the worst of you you are going to stand up for yourself for that too so um there are churches that will make you feel like, what did someone say once to me? They heard something about me. Oh, they called me a homewrecker. I didn't even know what that was. So um, make sure you are very careful, ladies, especially when you're in conservative churches. Sometimes if you don't fit the box, then you don't fit right in, right? Christ doesn't do that. Christ, um, he came, he died for us. It's pretty simple pretty easy to accept and then when somebody does mistreat you and treat you like you're a total whore right um you're going to be pretty mad right and then when you get mad and you get a righteous anger you're going to hear in the churches it's pride it's pride you know you think too highly of yourself that's not true uh you need to be able to express yourself and say yeah i am pretty ticked off when somebody has mistreated me so um Post-traumatic stress, again, back to the bolts, they had, uh, they did treat me like trash, and that is why I said, I'm going to hold you accountable, Gabe, for that. So, um, I did hold him accountable, as far as I know, like I said, it's all taken care of, but um, when someone thinks that you need to be ministered to, and this is the difficult part, you can think you're doing God's will, and you're not. You can think somebody actually is in the dark and they need some help. You can think that people are, you know, how do I say this? You can think that you are helping somebody when you're not. So this is why ministry has to be done on such a unique level. It has to be done in a way that there is not a box, uh, so to say. You have to be able to uh, really get down to people's levels, get in the boat with them, and really just have a lot of conversations with people and really get to know them in order to minister to them. So until the church realizes, you know, they need to be out of their four walls, and if they want to get the gospel to people, which is, you know, that, that, that's the cure. It's the cure. Jesus is the cure. But until we stop making people stumble and stop bringing, um, you know, accusations at people and stuff, especially when you are healing from post-traumatic stress, because a lot of girls have been through that shame, right? They've been through the shame and the condemnation. So when you have a guy that you feel like is mistreating you, it's not going to go well. And this is why I think a lot of women are angry, because they haven't dealt with the shame and the guilt of abortion. And it is such a, and I'm not even saying it's all their shame. It's just such a awful thing to go through. Uh, it's got to be one of the darkest things to go through in life is an abortion. Even if you get through it, the initial abortion is the effects after that you got to deal with. Christ came, he's the light of the world, and that is where healing is, and that is where truth is. I also plan on taking my nonprofit and helping women globally to heal from post-traumatic stress it's it's huge and we don't need other people you know girls don't need other people saying you know you killed your baby all the time yeah it, it is murder but you got to understand where someone's coming from there's first degree murder second degree you got to understand where the heart is etc etc so make sure when you're in ministry it's done in a way that you are really thinking of women and uh, especially the church now needs to think about post, post traumatic stress with women when they serve women. And uh, a lot of women are, you know, the church on the inside, you know, we're family, but those on the outside, a lot of people don't have the inside of a home. You know, they weren't brought up with that. They were brought up on the outside or the streets. 
So we need to be really careful how we minister to women.